Hey guys, thank you so much for the video for you guys. In today's video, we're going to show you how to fix your iPhone if apps are not downloading in the App Store on your iPhone. We're going to walk you through all the steps that you need to in order to troubleshoot it. Now, there's multiple reasons why apps aren't downloading on your iPhone, whether you have a new iPhone or existing iPhone that you were able to download apps. You're going to follow these steps. So let's get started. So whenever you're having this issue, first thing you like to do is put your phone on airplane mode briefly and turn it back off. That does a quick network refresh, so if you weren't able to download it because of some sort of cellular or uh, data connection issues, it should be fixed for you, and hopefully you can download it now. Now, that's the simplest and the quickest way. Now, let's say you're still not able to download it. The next thing you wanna do is go check into your iPhone. Now, I reckon the best way to download any apps is that you're connected to Wi-Fi. So if you can, or if you're available, Wi-Fi is available, go ahead and connect to a Wi-Fi and download it. Now, if you can use Wi-Fi and you're on cellular data, you need to ensure under cellular data, you have these things turned on. First of all, cellular data should be turned on if you're using cellular data. Under cellular data options, you want to do roaming. So you want to enable roaming. And then the other thing you want to do under data mode is that it should either be on allow more data on 5G or standard. These two options you should have. Now, if you have a low data mode turned on, you need to move away from that setting and select either of those because low data mode will reduce your data usage, again, causing updates and app download to fail and not work correctly. So either your standard or more data. So those are the couple settings you wanna look at. Now after you have looked at those settings, another setting to look at is in your settings, App Store here. We're under App Store here. If you wanna do cellular data automatic downloads, you wanna ensure that's turned on so you can do downloads on your cellular data if you want automatic downloads. But again, that's optional. But the important thing here is if it's ask if it's over 200 meg so if you do have this option on you want to turn always allow so that it doesn't stop you from not being able to download apps that are over 200 meg on cellular data so allow always and then also turn on automatic download if you're looking to download it on your cellular data so that's really important to do that now after you have done that go ahead and Look at, take a look at all the apps that you have open. Now, if you have the App Store open, go ahead and close it out and then relaunch it again. And then, of course, go search for your apps that you like to download and hopefully you can download the app that you're looking to download. Now, if you're still having the issue, the next thing you want to do with your iPhone is give it a force restart. So in order to do a force restart, the sequence of buttons you have to press. First, you press and release the volume up and then followed by press and release the volume down. And then finally, you hold the side button until the screen goes completely black and you see the Apple logo appear. At that time, you'll let go of that button. So I'll do volume up, volume down. And then I hold the side button just like that. And I'm going to keep on holding until the screen goes completely black as you can see here i'm holding it now where it says slide to power off do not slide to power off because there'll be a normal shutdown we want to keep on holding this button a couple seconds after until we see the apple logo and then we let go of that button and that does a quick force restart which shuts down the software of the phone and reloads the code so if there's a software related issue that's preventing you from downloading apps it will fix it for you so we're going to go back and then get back into our phone after we have done that now this method will not delete any of your personal data like photos videos apps or anything like that so they'll all still be there now the next thing you want to do if you're still having issues is go open up app store and once you open up app store you're going to click on your profile up top here and then what we'll do is sign out of your account here go ahead sign out here once you're signed out you want to re-sign back into your account so this time it's going to ask you if you want to continue with your apple id you're going to hit continue and it should sign you back into your icloud account and now it might also ask you for email and password sometimes it might if you're signing out if it is enter your email and password now once you do sign out it might also ask you for a valid payment option so sometimes what happens is when you do create an account you have to provide a payment option although apps are free most apps are free to download it's just that they need a payment on it there's also option to select none on the payment option which you explain in another video i'll leave a link on how to create or set that so it's none so if you don't have a payment option you can use that option as well but it does require a valid payment option and if you need to verify that do verify that if you can put a payment plan payment option like a credit card debit card 
it's best to do that apple will not charge you because most apps are free unless they say a price on it now after you have done that and you're still having issues where you can't download an app it's time to go into your setting of your iphone and then once you go into your setting of your iphone this time around you want to go into general and then check a date and time and you want to check that the date and the time that you have set here matches your local time if you traveled or moved and that time isn't showing up the correct time you can manually set it by turning that off and then select your time zone and the date and time as well but ideally it should set to be automatically picking up but in a case that it just spins here you want to adjust those manually but make sure it's the correct time as well now after you have done that the date and time ensuring that is correct another thing to check under that setting general here so the main setting general iphone storage you want to ensure that you have enough storage on your device what i mean by that you see how many storage i have here 128 gig and i'm only using 15 gig in a case that you're using up all of your storage you will not be able to download apps because there's not enough storage available in that case you'll need to take a look at what you can delete usually you need to delete like photos maybe some larger videos that take up a lot of space any other apps that you don't use whatever is recommended so you can free up some space as you can see here i have 112 gig available so i can download any app so you don't want your phone to be full of storage because it will not be able to download anything for you now after you have done that the next thing you want to do in your setting if you're still having issues is go into your setting of your phone go to general go all the way down here it says transfer reset iphone you click on that and then you click on reset here and you want to do a reset network setting and the reason why you want to do a network resetting is that again if there's an issue going with the connectivity of your phone because when you're downloading app it needs to connect to the internet either cellular data or wi-fi data you need to do that now when you do that it's going to delete your saved wi-fi password and any bluetooth connected devices which you'll just have to reconnect again now this will take about a minute or two but this will not delete any of your personal data so all of your photos videos apps still will be on your phone but something you'll need to do if you're still having issues now after you have done that and you're still having issues it's time to check if you are downloading something already so let's say maybe you were already in the process of downloading an app right and it's like spinning like that and it's downloading you can see it here you can actually press and hold and pause download like that so if it's pause download you can press and then you can also uh, delete or remove that app so that that isn't interfering with you trying to download a new app so that's also something you want to do go ahead and delete that or pause it and then restart the process again now another thing you also want to check on your iphone is that in your settings here under screen time now if you are using screen time there's something to take a look at is under content and privacy restrictions if you do have this on i recommend turning this off as this can interfere with app store purchase so if you see here where you do have installing apps right it's allowed in a case where it says don't allow in this case you will not be able to download any app so allow and if you want you can also turn this off completely so that it's not restricting any sort of app downloads on your iphone which is it'd be more recommended so up to you if you use that but i recommend turning that off now the final and the last thing you can do if you're still having issues is updating your phone to the latest ios version again in the settings you're going to general software update Let's check to see if there's an update available if there is you're going to click on update now and give yourself about half an hour to 45 minutes to have your phone update successfully again you need to be connected to strong wi-fi or cellular data and make sure your phone is at least 50% or more in order to successfully uh, install the update that you have. And hopefully after doing all of this, your app that you're looking to download, now you're able to download it. If so, please make sure to like and subscribe. But also if you found another issue that we didn't mention that help you fix not being able to download apps from the app store, leave a comment in the comment section to share with everyone. And hit that like and subscribe button for future tips and tricks on all of other iOS related tips very we will have for you guys in the future see you guys next time